FAO developed a series of training models. Training model number one introduces you to the AquaCrop software. In this presentation, several topics are discussed. We will first focus on the need for models assessing yield response to water. Why a model is needed. To develop recommendations to improve water use efficiency, we can run field experiments to assess the yield response to water. Now it will take of course many years before valid recommendations can be formulated because you require different weather conditions, maybe different crop species, different managements. So instead of conducting field experiments, we can also run simulations with a model. Now simulation is performed by means of mathematical models. Now mathematical models are just simplified representations of a particular system. So we are only interested in part of the reality. Only part of the reality is what we are going to model. In aqua crop we are interested in the field in which plants are cultivated. Now the plant production depends strongly on the conditions in the soil. So there will be an interaction between the plant and the soil. If there is a lot of water, plant will grow well. If the soil is poorly fertilized and dry, the plants will not develop. So we are going to look at the interaction between the plant and the soil. That is the system which we are going to model. So we look at the interaction between the plant and the soil, but that is of course also affected by management. Field management, soil fertility, irrigation, when do we apply the water and how much. Now we have to link our system to the outside world. At the upper boundary, we look at the weather conditions. What is the rainfall? How many energy is available to vaporize water? What is the CO2 concentration? At the lower boundary, we are looking at the water table, to which the water from our system will drain. And if the water table is close to the soil, to the subsoil, then water can move by capillary rise from the water table to the subsoil. Now it's important to understand that water table is not part of aqua crop. So aqua crop does not simulate the uh, variation of the water table, uh, how deep it is and what is the quality of the water. It's the user who has to define what is the depth of the water table and the water quality. So instead of conducting field experiments, we can now run simulations with models to assess the yield response to water. And by running simulations for several years, several crop varieties, several environments, several field management scenarios, we come to formulation of recommendations. Now instead of being requiring years, we need just a few minutes. Now, of course, field experiments are still required because we can use them to calibrate and validate our simulation model. Once we have a calibrated and validated model, we can run simulations and formulate the recommendations. In answer to water scarcity, FAO developed a model to assess crop yield response to water. Actually, there are many models, but most of the models are for research purposes. The model FAO developed is called AquaCrop, and it uses a relatively small number of parameters which are explicit and mostly intuitive. So the model requires only commonly available input. When developing the model, FAO attempted to balance the simplicity with the accuracy and robustness. It is a simple model, it is based on general concepts, but of course it should be accurate and therefore it describes plant physiological processes and soil water budgeting processes 
with great accuracy. And it is robust, it is widely applicable with an acceptable accuracy.